let's have a look at comparing the shape of two sets of data. So we've got our different shapes here. You've got the little pictures on the right hand side here. So we've got our normal distribution, which is when you've got one hill, reasonably symmetric, left skewed. You've got lots of data on the right hand side with a long tail on the left. And you can also see that from the box and whisker graph, you find where the median is and you look at the distance above it versus the distance below it, you can see that distance below the median is much bigger. So that gap there is much bigger than that gap there. Right skewed, long tail on the right hand side, or again in terms of the box plot, look at that median, that distance compared to that distance, it's much longer on the right hand side. Bimodal, one peak here, another peak here, um, it may or may not be symmetric. And uniform is when the particular features, when I've got these lovely straight sides on my distribution graph. So those are the ones that we need to identify. So if I've got a set of data like I do here, first thing I'm going to do, grab your pen, and over the top you are going to literally just do a curve like that. What I don't want to see you doing is kind of this kind of skylight approach. Okay, I don't want to see that. I just want a very quick swish over the top, swish over the top, okay? And then what you're going to do is identify what shape it most looks like. And the key thing that I noticed there is that I've got one peak here on the left and another peak here on the right. So this would be a bimodal distribution, okay? Now for the merit, I need to be able to justify that. So in terms of justifying it, justifying it, we need to think of three different ideas. Symmetry. Now symmetry, if I take, for example, a rectangle, gosh, that's a terrible rectangle. If I take a rectangle or a square, I draw a mirror line down the middle of it, I should be able to get that this half is a mirror image of that half down that middle line. If I was to draw a triangle like this, for example, put a mirror line down the middle, you can see that this left hand side is a different shape um, and size to the right hand. All right, so this is not symmetric, whereas this is. So we want to look at these distributions to see are they symmetric. So in terms of my normal distribution, yes, I could put a lovely line down the mirror line down the middle. The left hand side, right hand side will be symmetric. For a left skewed, if I put my line down through where there peakers, the left hand side and right hand side are not symmetric, they're quite different shapes. Same with right skewed, not symmetric. This particular bimodal one is not symmetric, sometimes it might be. So if I had one where it was two lovely peaks the same size, then I could say maybe that's symmetric. Um, uniform, and again if I put my line down the middle, that's pretty symmetric. All right. So I know that this is symmetric, that's not, that's not. This may or may not be, and this one is. Then I want to think about the number of peaks. So for my normal distribution, I just have one peak, okay, one hill in the middle. For a left skewed, again, I've only got one peak. Um, on a right skew distribution, still only got one peak. On the bimodal, I've got one, two peaks, and uniform. Um, I've only got that one main block of data, so that is one peak. The third thing I want to do is I want to think about the tails. I want to think about whether the tails are pretty similar in size or if one is a lot longer than the other. So for the normal distribution, both of those tails are pretty symmetric, pretty even. For a left skewed, the tail on the left hand side is much longer than the tail on the right. For a right skewed, the tail on the left is much shorter than that tail on the right hand side. Um, bimodal depends on the distribution. This particular one, they're pretty similar, but it could vary. Um, and for a, norm, for a uniform distribution, there is no tail because the data just goes straight up and down. And that's what I need to be able to do to justify the shape at merit.